Hello guys, I am Batdan16 PS3, and welcome back to episode number 8 of my Gran Turismo 6 Let's Play series. First off, I would like to sincerely apologise for episode 7. Pretty much all of it. Because it wasn't my best driving, and not being able to show you a complete lap around Silverstone in the uh, Nissan GTR was a sucky thing to do. Hopefully the end of the video after the main bulk where I show you the lap and go through my times and also show you the new car that I got. Hopefully that went some way to mending some of those fences. Uh, in regards to the new car, that will be staying red. I won't be changing the colour of it to black like I have done for all my other cars purely because that's the special colour edition and if it's a special colour edition, you don't generally change the colour. Um, some of you may, uh, hopefully you'll all remember, that at the beginning of the last episode, I got an invitation from Lord March to attend the Goodwood Festival of Speed and take three cars up the hill climb, which is what I'm going to be doing in this episode. I'm going to try and keep it somewhat short-ish, hopefully. Um, unlike the last episode, which I think hit the half hour mark at the end of editing. Um, if things start going absolutely miserably, I'll keep plugging away until I'd get at least one silver trophy in for each of the three cars. Uh, speaking of cars, we've got the Alpine A111, the Expo, and the Ferrari Dino 246 GT to go up the hill climbing. More looking forward to the uh, the Expo than the other two, just because it's modern, futuristic-y kind of car. Uh, anyway, the Alpine A110. I've got to try and get it up the hill climb faster than 1 minute and 5 seconds. It's only a 1.16 mile track, so hopefully it could go pretty well, provided I don't cock up. Like, again, I'm sorry I did in the last episode. I will make it, hopefully make this episode a lot better, as last episode wasn't my best stuff, my best driving, my best anything. Um, it was terrible. Anyway, the Alpine boasts a rear-engine, rear-wheel drive setup, which gives excellent traction, and thanks to this and its lightweight body, it has managed to define a generation with rally cars based on the A110 coming top of the rankings again and again in their heyday. Uh, we get nice 5,000 credits for getting a gold time, 3,000 for a silver, and 1,000 for a bronze, which is better than the 600 that we got for the mission races, I suppose. Uh, but with it being rear wheel drive, hang on. What? Why can I not see anything? What the hell went on there? I heard the starting noise, and then it suddenly went crazy on me. I'm going to restart that. Um, as I was saying, Alpine with it being rear engine and rear drive, I'm expecting this to be super, super tail happy and slidey. But I'm obviously going to try and keep it going somewhat straight. Uh, I've never done this track before. Um, I've seen it on TV a couple of times, as I've mentioned previously. I've never driven this car before, obviously, because otherwise I'd let you know how it handled. Um, so I'm not really knowing what to expect from this. Just going to try and keep my foot planted, I suppose, apart from all these braking zones, which this is quite a big one. And I saw that coming a mile off. I knew I didn't brake enough. That was just terrible. Again, sorry, learning experience for me, having never done either the car or the track before. Uh, There's probably going to be someone in the comments saying something along the lines of, Oh, you're not very good, are you? It's like, I know. I'm doing this for fun. I'm not pretending to be awesome at gaming. Because um, I'm clearly not, as hopefully all of you will now have seen. Um, 
I'll try and not keep this a long video, but if this Alpine starts giving me a bit of jip, which it's starting to do, yeah. Could feel that in my steering wheel. Um, yeah. Going to try and keep this short, but if hopefully the uh, Expo and the Ferrari don't give me as many problems as this seems to be giving me under braking at the moment. Let's try and give it another go. I wonder... No, no, you definitely need to brake for that one. My bad. I'm trying to be cocky and save as much time as I can and it just failed. Sorry. Ooh, that one's a bit sluggish away from the line. Uh, not too sure about that. Brake. Change gear, well done. Keep it on the tarmac. Yeah. Ooh, little corner cut. And a over rev. Foot flat to the floor for this bit. And now hard on the brakes. Try and get round. Ooh, how the hell did I manage to do that? Just managed to keep one tyre on the track. But yeah, as I've said, I've watched this event on TV a couple of times and the camera angles that are there for the coverage don't do this track justice whatsoever. This track is very narrow and lined with walls or hay. I think that's hay, but it looks like brick wall. Uh, oh, ending. Come on, come on. Seven tenths. Well, I got my silver or better. That's that's done. Uh, probably could save off a lot of time not being so cautious around turns and obviously getting my gear changes set and sorted because that's my main bugbear at the moment. Uh, but now having completed a time, I'll get a ghost, hopefully. Going. Nice straight bit. Yeah, I can just see on the mini map. Just flicking my eyes to it while also trying to keep them on the track. The yellow marker being my ghost. Uh, that was better. Managed to keep all four wheels on the tarmac this time. Yeah, there he is. Hopefully pulling far away from him. Yeah, who would honestly put a wall that close? It's silly. Ooh, bit of tail happy slidey. Still behind me. Which is always a plus. Comes the line, minute two, minute three, minute four. Oh! Two tenths of a second. Let's just give that one more go because having shaved off half a second in one run, two tenths surely can't be that hard to find. Obviously, if I can't find it, I'll move on to the expo. I've got my silver or better. It's all I really want. Going good so far. Ghost car's still behind me. That looks like two tenths of a gap, doesn't it? Also, want to get up to this line. No, it doesn't tell me the ghost split time. That sucks. No. Foot was a bit too far down on the accelerator there. Just understeered way off the track. Which is weird for a rear engine, rear mounted car. A uh, rear wheel drive car, sorry. But, silver or better. That's 4,400 credits that I wouldn't have had. Uh, especially with my 110% login bonus. So I'm now pushing 109. And exit out of this and go to the expo. It's an interesting piece of art. It's to celebrate a Lotus anniversary. It's got a couple of their Formula One cars on it, I think. You can see it there again in the background. Uh, now we move on to the Expo R12. Uh, Expo is a two-seater sports car designed by Austrian motorcycle maker KTM with absolute efficiency in mind. 
and got 53 seconds for a gold time. Let's try and do it better this time. Of course, with it being lightweight, there's a good chance that this will handle like a beast. But you never know. If this game could just load, that would be wonderful. Thank you. So I get up to one minute for a bronze. So I've got a seven second leeway between gold and bronze. It sounds like a beast. Oh my god, it takes off like one, two. Wow. That's quick acceleration. I was not expecting that at all. So I'll try and make sure that I break. Oh god. No, oh, tank slapper. Yeah. Touched the wood on the grass, I think, and it just wanted to throw me from side to side. And I've just noticed that this car is fitted with a turbo. Of course, what car from an Austrian maker would be complete without a turbo? It's just insanity on insanity, really. Not that I'm knocking it, it appears to be a fantastic car. Break. Down to second. Whoa. Yeah. It's quick in corners too. Should have stuck with the Alpine, at least I only had to find two tenths of a second rather than get up there in 53. Come on. Stick to it. Now get a wheel off the grass. Ah, oh, you bitch. Stick one wheel on the grass and it just wants to throw you around. Ah. Very, very twitchy, this car. Very twitchy. Right. Break. Good. We kept a wheel. Ooh. I was going to say, kept a wheel off the grass. Cut that corner a tiny bit. Full throttle. Great, that's enough. Ooh. Twitchy. Break. Don't want to hit the walls. And of course, I hit the walls. Pinballing off either side. It just seems like a very narrow course to have walls like that lined. Come on. Two tenths of gap again. Really? What? Where is that extra two tenths? I'll have one more go, and then I'll get into the Dino. Having two tenths constantly is just annoying now. Okay, I know I said one more go, but this is definitely my last go. I want to make it at least round the first corner. That would be nice. And I want to get at least one gold in one of these three, rather than having three silvers, because that just looks sucky. Get at least one gold. Let's see if I can do it. I've only got 2 point, well, 0 0.277 of a second to find. Come on. Brake. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The hell happened there? I just hit the brakes and it just went squirmy. Just threw me all over the place. Right. 14 minutes in. So, start with the Ferrari. Another 4,400 credits. Uh, let's move on to the Ferrari. And if I have time and the Ferrari doesn't give me too much jip, then I will go back to one of the other cars, either the Alpine or the KTM, and try and get a gold in that. Seems to be the fairest way around it. Of course, I get, if I get a gold in this, that's even better too. The car used here is the best known of the series of automobiles, named after Ferrari founder Enzo Ferrari's oldest son, Dino. They were styled by Pininfarina and 
known for their immaculate handling. Yeah, we'll see about that going up this hill fairly quickly, lined with brick walls and hay bales. And what we got? We got one minute to do it in, and we got up to a minute five for a bronze. And let's just hope that the blurb on this car is actually right, and it's known for its immaculate handling, and it doesn't try and throw me all over the place like the KTM just did. I'm sure the KTM is a very perfectly fine track day car. I'm sure it's a lot of fun. You could do whatever you want. I'm just not sure that it's cut out for a hill climb event like this, where the track is probably 10 feet wide and the car takes up about six of those. It's a very wide car. It's very easy and yeah. I was about to say, this car is very easy to handle. You just, the more lock you put on, the more it will turn around the corner. And I just found out why. It wants to throw you off. The more lock you put on, the more oversteer you're going to get. <sighs> These last couple of videos haven't gone great for me, have they? I really need to get back into the racing. It just seems like the logical choice. Just go round the track, overtake people, not have to worry about six feet wide or ten feet wide tracks with six feet wide cars. Lots of runoff area, hopefully. Let's let's get back to that for the next few episodes, I think. Try and build up my street cred a little more. Very gentle with the throttle. That was my main problem, I think, in the expo. Just I would just want to put all power down immediately. I wanted to mash that accelerator into the box that it's, it's housed in, rather than just squeeze it on gently without it going absolutely berserk. Yes, I got my gold. 59.7. Thank Christ. And how far are we in? 17 and a half minutes. I think I've got enough time to go back to the Alpine. 9,900. That seems like a lot. I thought it was only five for a gold. But, oh well. That's a 110% bonus, I guess. The numbers don't seem to add up there. Oh well. I do like these mission races. They hark back to Gran Turismo 5 when you had the special events. You know, the karting, the rallying, the Top Gear test track, which I don't think I've found yet in this game. I wish they'd have kept it in because that was a lot of fun to go around. Um, you also had the Grand Touring event going through Italy, uh, NASCAR and of course the X-Series races where you had the Red Bull X cars. They were a lot of fun those cars. I did probably 50% of the races in the game with that after I unlocked it. I didn't even have to buy it either, it was a gift when Sebastian Vettel and Red Bull Racing won the 2010 Ferrari uh, Formula 1 World Championship. So yeah, didn't have to pay out the millions of credits to get one. I just got it free and absolutely rinsed it. But anyway, let's try and hook up this lap. Like the Ferrari did, just remember, easy on the throttle coming out of corners. And remember to brake with plenty of time. Seems to be going well so far. Where am I? 25 seconds through. Come on. Brake. Steady. That's a lot better. I like that a lot. Just... Steady on the throttle just helps me so much. Let's steady on the throttle again. Try not to bounce off of walls. It's good. Again. Blast it through this little open ground section. Don't have to lift off for this. It's 
keep the foot flat to the floor. Come on. Minute three, four. Yes. One minute, 4.5 seconds. That's gold on two of them. And I think that is a good stopping point for this video. I will do the expo to gold off camera. Just so that I don't end up wasting another or are we, 10 minutes of your time like the last video. Uh, just cut it there. Um, hopefully this one was more entertaining than the last video. Although I'm sure it's entertaining watching me fail over and over again. And then you'll get frustrated at me. Uh, but next week we're back to the National B class. And if this thing would save, thank you. Uh, move along. And the next event is the 400 PP Clubman Cup. Which has races around Silverstone, Rome and the Autumn Ring. That is in the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.